Welcome to the village of Amoku, nestled in the lush heartland of Igbo land, where the sun kisses the earth and traditions run deep. Our story begins with Shinoza, a beautiful young woman from a prestigious family, known not just for her stunning beauty, but also for her fiery spirit and intelligence. Chinoza dreams of exploring the world beyond her village, of becoming more than what her family expects, a dutiful wife to a wealthy suitor. Her father, Chief Okeke, is a powerful and respected elder in the community, a man of strict values who believes in upholding the traditions of their ancestors. He has high hopes for Chinoza, hoping to marry her off to Chijok, a wealthy and influential businessman who will bring honor and prosperity to their family. But Chinoza's heart belongs to another, Obina, a humble artist from a modest background. Obina, with his gentle soul and boundless creativity, paints the world with the colors of his dreams. He loves Chinoza deeply, seeing her not just as a prize to be won, but as a partner to be cherished. Despite his talent, Obina struggles to make a living, and in the eyes of Chief Okeke, he is far from an ideal match for his daughter, their love is a well-kept secret, nurtured in quiet moments by the riverbank where they meet in the cool shade of the ancient trees. It is here, away from prying eyes, that Chinoza and Obina share their dreams and fears, whispering promises of a future they can only hope for. Point one fateful evening, Chief Okeke calls for a grand gathering in the village square. Dressed in his regal traditional attire, he stands proudly before his people and announces the engagement of Chinoza to Chijok. The crowd erupts in applause, but Chinoza's heart sinks. She feels trapped between her love for Obina and the heavy weight of her family's expectations, driven by desperation and the strength of his love, Obina takes a bold step. He approaches Chief Okeke's compound, determined to prove himself worthy of Chinoza. He pleads his case, his voice unwavering but respectful, as he declares his love for Chinoza and his intentions to marry her. But Chief Okeke, flanked by the elders, scoffs at the notion. To him, Obina is nothing more than a poor artist with dreams too big for his station. He sternly forbids Obina from seeing Chinoza again, threatening severe consequences if his orders are disobeyed. As the wedding preparations with Chijo continue, Chinoza grows more and more restless. The vibrant colors of her bridal attire and the lively songs of celebration feel like chains that bind her to a future she does not want. On the eve of the wedding, in a moment of sheer courage and defiance, Chinoza makes a daring choice, she runs away, leaving behind the wealth and security of her family to be with Obina. They flee into the night, hand in hand, determined to build a life together against all odds, they face the harsh judgment of their community and the anger of Chief Okeke, who feels betrayed and dishonored. But as time passes, the village begins to see the depth of Chinoza and Obina's love. They work hard, supporting each other through every challenge. Obina's art flourishes, capturing the beauty of their land and the strength of their people, while Chinoza becomes a beacon of inspiration for young women in the village, showing them the power of following one's heart, moved by their resilience and the undeniable bond they share, Chief Okeke's heart begins to soften. He realizes that happiness and true love cannot be measured by wealth or status. In a heartfelt moment of reconciliation, he gives his blessing to Chinoza and Obina, acknowledging the strength it took for them to choose love over tradition. Chinoza and Obina's journey reminds us all that while traditions are the roots that ground us, it is our choices and our courage to pursue our dreams that truly define who we are. In the end, love bridges the divide between two worlds, creating a new path that honors both the past and the future.